grab some one inch precision ground stock off the wall and we're going to cut it to length. Your length 16 and an eighth, I believe. And I'm going to leave an eighth of an inch or just a little bit more because I'm going to go back in the lathe later at the very final lathe operation and we're going to cut that to exact length. Pretty convenient, I already had the parting tool in the uh, lathe. Now I'm going to face off this one inch round stock just to square it up. I'm going to put a 45 degree chamfer on the end of it. Next we're going to slide the center drill in and we're going to drill a hole right smack in the center of it. The purpose of this is going to be to support the bar when I slide it out the 13 inches it's going to have to overhang. Let's slide the live center in here now. You gotta make sure it's nice and clean so it'll stay on true to center. Let's take a look at this measurement that's gonna slide down at the top. Now, this will give me the measurements between the two snap rings. And if I use a digital readout, all the parts will be bang on every time. Now I'm gonna grab this snap ring tool here and I'm just making sure I got the right one. I have two or three different types. This is the uh, .045 snap ring tool. Make sure she's snug in here and look we're going to check the height because the height on your uh, measurement is important. I'm going to stick a ruler in between there and this just gently kiss it up and now if it's leaning back or forwards I'll know whether it's on height and if it's vertical like this we know she's smack on on center line. Now I'm going to come up to the edge of the part and zero my digital readout. Then I'm going to move it over to my measurement and then I'm going to add 0.045 because it's the other side of the tool that we're measuring from. There we go. I'm going to zero it here. Now I've got one of the snap rings that I'm including in the kit. I'm just going to make sure that it's cutting on right and nothing's worn down. It looks like it's good there. Slide over and just make sure that we're on the right, the right diameter. Now I've got everything zeroed. All i got to do is i got to move it over the 7.90 over to the next measurement. And then just cut to the exact same depth that we had before. And in theory it should be right, but we're going to double check everything once we're done. Now I've left out measuring some of the parts because I didn't want to bother you with watching me measure. But every time I take a cut or change operations before I take anything apart or take it out of the machine, I'll give it a quick, quick measure just to make sure it's all on size. That way it's easier just to go back and touch it up if it needs to be touched up. Or, you know, the odd time you got to throw it in the scrap bin or, or put it in the parts bin for another, another project. There we go, 7900. Alright, our next step is we're going to flip it around. We're going to part this part off to length. Now it's a pretty easy operation. I'm, I'm kind of going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to take the ring groove tool and I'm just going to eye it up and fit it into the groove that was already cut. And this will get me within 10 or 15 thou of the overall length. After I bed this ring groove tool in there by eye, I'm just going to zero my digital readout and then I'm going to add 045 to it. I'm going to roll it over just a bit, 045, and then I'm going to move it over to my final distance. And then I'm just going to give a little groove at the end of it just to mark it by eye. And then I'm going to come back with an actual parting tool and part it off. I'll swap out for that parting tool again. And now for the fun part.
All right, now off to the mill machine. Let's drill some holes and cut a keyway. I'm just going to slide in a, a round stock bar in there because we just need to, like I said, we just need to get it within 15 thou, and that that bar there is within a half a thou, so it should be should be more than good. Now the first step we're going to do is we're going to find center of this bar because we want to drill direct center. And here's a little cheat tool for you guys. I'll uh, I'll give you a link to it in the link below. Man, this saves so much time, this little tool. Now with the wiggler, I'm going to find the center between the two groove rings. Now what I do is I zero everything. And all I got to do now is just find where the center is, zero it, and then move out 5.5 .5 inches. And I've got the exact center where I got to drill that hole. First, you're going to start off with your center drill. Now, the center drill is super important for those that don't know. The center drill is going to keep it exactly on center, and then you can come in with your. There we go. You come in with your actual size drill bit, and you can drill it to size. Now for the final operation of cutting the keyway. This is a little bit more of an in-depth of an operation that I'll explain in a later video. However, basically what I did today was I calculated with my machinist handbook how far I was going to go in. Then I found center of the shaft, center of the height of the shaft, I touched off on it, and then I went in the prescribed amount. And now that you've cut the keyway, it's as simple as cleaning it out, putting in a brand new keyway, measuring from the bottom of the shaft to the top of the keyway, and that gives you your final measurement. If you like this video, take the time to make some comments down below. I'd really appreciate your feedback. Thanks a lot for watching.